Yo, what's going on guys? Thor here back with a new video and in this video we're going to be reviewing you guys' accounts. So, yeah, the ones that sent me a message on Instagram, I just made a story on my Instagram account and announcing that I'm going to be making one of one more of these videos. So if you were one of the first people to DM me your account, you got in the video. If you want to be in the next video, just go and follow me on Instagram. Uh, link down below uh, to my Instagram account and or you can see it on the screen probably uh, but yeah go follow me on Instagram just pay attention to whenever I make a story and yeah be the first one to DM me and you will get in the video now also make sure you check out the free Instagram training five-step training that I've made down below it's gonna take you from start to finish to yeah basically what you need to know about Instagram as a starter and grow on your first 10,000 followers so if you want that Link down below, it's 100% free on Facebook Messenger. But anyways, let's just jump into this video and yeah, get started. Alright, so the first page we're going to be reviewing is this one right here, Pablo Pavez. Now, the first thing that I notice is that your bio is a bit short. I would add some more, like uh, some more text in the bio, write some more about yourself, what you do, because um, it's going to be, yeah, more engaging with your audience, and your audience is going to get to know you better, and you want to build that personal connection. So just fix up in that. Now, when it comes to your content, there's you're you're posting really good content, but there is still a lot to work on, especially with the positioning of yourself in the image and as well well as the background because the backgrounds can be like in this picture there's I feel like there's too much details in the background and it takes the attention and focus off of you um, you kind of blend in with the background this one is is much better this one is better as well but you can also see that your head is cut off <clears throat> if you look at it from this perspective so you want to have your entire theme of the page your entire uh, your entire layout of the page in mind when you do take pictures because you want the overall flow here to look good and right now it could need some work um, on that particular end. I'd highly recommend you to dive into Adobe Lightroom and those kinds of softwares because it's going to allow you to add that nice crunch to the image, that nice final detail, and it's going to take your content game just to a whole another level. So just, yeah, keep on, keep on working on improving that content because you do have really good content. You've got a big amount of audience following you, lots of comments, lots of likes, but in perfecting your content is the first thing that you should focus on. Also write a bit more in the caption right here and also add some hashtags because yeah, Instagram likes you to do that so and it's gonna increase your reach, increase your potential new audience. So yeah, you definitely wanna do that. Next page is this one, visit more profile name is perfect. The profile logo is also really, really good. I uh, like it a lot and it's got a nice color flow, which is dope. The bio though needs a lot of work. Um, this looks very ugly, so completely change this up, add more emojis, add a bit more text about what the page is going to be all about um, and not just taking you on a journey around the world. That could be the top line and then you could write some more below because uh, right now it's very boring and very plain. The images are very random even though everything is like most of it is considered viral content it looks very very ugly blended together and that is something i urge you guys to keep in mind when you do post things you don't want to post things that has an insane contrast from the previous image because it's going to look your entire feed uh ugly so so for example this looks very ugly this doesn't fit in with this tons of melons and then a mountain and then somebody underwater it doesn't really blend well in together uh so keep that in mind when you do post pictures now before you like the first thing i would do when starting out the travel page i would post a good amount of good looking pictures first because people are going to be following you for the good looking pictures you want to for example if i go to ultimate freedom um, the travel page that I'm growing. I'm, I've shown this probably a million times, but let me just scroll all the way to the bottom um, And yeah, just hang in there guys until I am till the bottom Okay, so after scrolling for about an hour We arrived to the bottom of ultimate freedom and as you can see the content that I posted here is really good-looking content It's it's really really nice and then after posting all this nice looking content, I start with a viral content that also does look nice, well blended together. You can see every picture fits nicely in it. It's like a nice blend, especially with these two right here. So after all this good looking content, I start with a viral content and you can see, yeah, starts going viral, all that good stuff. So that's what you would be doing. That's what I want you to do as well on your page. And yeah, 
because right now it looks very very ugly and there's no reason for somebody to follow a page that looks like this. Next page up is this one and this is actually a very very good page. Um, profile picture is nice, the bio and uh, the bio is very nice as well. 55,000 followers, well deserved because the content here is really really nice. Now what I like about the content here, you can see that it's, it's it's a lot of different types of content that's being posted. It's herself and it's food. Um, and sometimes it's other stuff uh, like ice cream, that's still food. But anyways, you get my point. And some of you might think, well, this is bad. You've got to niche down your page. But the thing here is, is that all of her content looks amazing together like it the blend between every piece of content right here is is beautiful and it's the same vibe you get the same vibe for every picture and adding these pictures here and there even though the pictures of you are probably going to have the most engagement um that's what i would assume you you can see that these images still add a nice touch to the overall page so you might not be posting this image for overall engagement but you're posting it for um, to have your page overall pe overall page look beautiful and that you've done really really well So there's nothing for me to comment on the content now something I would like to comment on though is this since you are in a really good position right now You do have 55,000 followers. You've got a really solid feed on your page You want to start looking into growing the page. There are some things I can comment on here. For example um, The 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 hashtags look a bit look a bit ugly. You're using a bit too many shorten down on the hashtags and also yeah I mean, you, the hashtags are really targeted to the image, so that's good. But maybe use a bit smaller hashtags because you're not going to go into rank on all of these. Um, but you've well defined them to your niche. Uh, but what I wanted to comment on is growing the page. And what you want to be doing uh, for your specific page is using influencers. You want to go to big influencers, uh, pay people with maybe like 100 to 200,000 followers that have the same audience as you, that have the same kinds of pages as you. And you want to promote your content on there. It's very obvious. It's, it's very simple. I have my multiple videos about influencers on my channel um, but that is how I would go about growing your page so just start looking into that because you're in a really good position right now um, and uh, yeah just taking the page continue on growing the page that should be your focus your main focus from now next page is this one which is also a really really good page 131 followers this guy is someone you can see he's got that blue tick there as well which is pretty pretty dope um, now the bio is actually not too bad because you're talking about you're you're talking a lot about what you do, um, blah 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 whatever this is Las Vegas fitness, uh, two times EU champion, fitness model, military instructor. So you've got a pretty uh, nice explanation of what you do right here. So that's all good. Now there is it kind of looks a bit spammy. So what I would do is I would remove some of it that wouldn't be that important. Maybe maybe you're musically or whatever it is and write maybe a sentence about what you actually do for example you could write military instructor that do modeling and um, acting and uh, just have a blast and enjoy life like a motherfucker like something like that and then you would put some of these keywords in um, rather than having it look like this because it looks a bit spammy to the eye when you first meet it but anyways moving on to the content so for you to take your page to that next level you've got 131 followers uh, uh 31k followers you get really good engagement on your pictures but you could literally double this engagement if you just started taking better photos uh better content is for you now going to be the key to your success on instagram so what you want to be doing is you want to be starting to good content is not going to come from your bathroom at home um, even though you look nice, you look shredded, it's it's not what we call good content. Good content is when somebody actually takes a picture of you, for example like this, um, with a nice background. So um, this picture isn't that optimized for Instagram though, because you can see your head is cut off and you can't really see the entire thing. This one too isn't really that good content for Instagram because it's a very boring white background, um, even though you look shredded as hell. Um, and you've got a lot of engagement on it, but you can see that um, 
it doesn't perform much better than the the average images so what i would do is focus much more on creating that b perfect content i do maybe have a page that i'll use uh, as an example um, but for example right here too you can see your head is cut off you can't see your head there's a lot of different things going on there's biking this is a very random image um, it's in a 45 degree angle or something uh, same with this image it goes like this this one is like this so it's, it's kind of all over the place so what you have to figure out is niche down your specific content the type of content you're going to be posting um, and 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 go from there create images that you're in nature that's that's really popular and not just like random images at the gym they might perform well um, but that is, this is usually what you want to be posting on the story instead of what you're actually doing this as well um, and images like these are more the types of images you want to be posting on your actual actual feed um, but yeah you might want to throw off your shirt because you do get more engagement on the images where you throw off your shirt. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But creating that better co uh, content quality is is the key for you now to take your page to the next level because you are again in a very good position. Um, and uh, yeah, also cut down a bit on the hashtags. You're using a bit too many here, but the size of them are good because you are able to rank for them uh, due to the amount of engagement you have. Next page up is the street quotes. Um, nice as logo. I like it a lot. Name is also really good. Um, bio also perfect. You talk about what you, uh, what the page is about. Spreading positive vibes. Nice. Uh, Ten thousand followers. Seventy five thousand. Uh, Seventy five following. So this is a really really good established page. You can see it's actually going viral, and this is very very rare on these kinds of pages. It's very rare to go viral on a motivational page. Personally, in my life, I've only had one picture go viral on a motivational page when I grew my page to 20,000 followers and then it got banned. Um, but as you can see, he's doing really good uh, with this page. Now, there is w one thing that I would change up and that is the, f uh, that is the flow. Um, that is the flow of the content because you see you can see that you're posting a lot of random content or different types of content um, and that I would sort of in even though these are the kinds of images that that are viral in this niche images like this images like this um, these these ones as well but not as much um, but it's typical uh, these ones like this is a very viral image even though it didn't go viral this one is viral um, and, and sometimes these ones as well but when it's actually a snippet out of something that's what goes viral in this niche um, also these kinds of posters and whatever uh, yeah you can you, you get a really good example when you look at this page and you can see he is blowing up in engagement which is absolutely not 7,000 8,000 12,000 this is crazy I've actually never seen a page like this in my entire life 16,000 likes that is absolutely nuts so yeah this guy is is definitely crushing it and you, you like if you're gonna create a page like this yourself take inspiration from this guy um, but so just cleaning up the content a bit is gonna be a key because when people follow quotes pages they want to follow a brand a, a specific a specific page a specific brand so if you can brand every single quote as something uh, that's gonna give you more success that's gonna allow people to recognize your page and uh, enjoy following your page because they know who the content is for coming from each time they see your post so having for example the streets quotes um, some like in in every bottom right corner or something could work out very very well also make sure when you do post a picture that the text doesn't go out of the frame like it does here final thing I want to talk about or mention is using way too many hashtags cut down and yeah cut cut way down on the hashtags and that's pretty much it just keep doing what you're doing because yeah, you're doing an amazing job with this page yeah good fucking work man Next page is this one. Um, let's do a quick overview. Personal page, I assume. Um, the profile picture, uh, if it's your personal page, change that to your face. People want to see your face rather than your back. Um, the name as well. Add some more in info in the um, yeah info in the bio because it's pretty boring right now. Friendly, I mean, okay, you're friendly, but write some more. It's it's very boring just seeing this. Um, the content needs a good amount of work because you need to define your niche because uh, right now I can't f seem to understand what your niche is. So f uh, define your niche and post content that aligns well with that. Also when you're posting pictures of yourself, yeah, cut down on hashtags so you're using way too many but this is a very bad picture. It's 
the quality is is really bad the pixels there's the, there's very few pixels in the image like you, you, you can like if you zoom in it's going to be super blurry and it this is blurry right now so you want to you want to improve the quality of the pictures selfies usually don't perform that well on instagram overall um unless you're taking it with a really quality camera so yeah just clean up that content figure out what theme you want to have on your page and go from there because right now it's all over the place and yeah that's just how it is next page is luxury s travels <clears throat> logo nice i like it a lot it's pretty clean and yeah i love the globe there it looks pretty pretty dope it looks like it's in space and all that kinds of stuff which is dope the bio is also nice looking <clears throat> i don't really understand what this oh it's a backpack that looks very odd on computer um you might want to make it a bit like change up the emojis because they look kind of odd and i would assume they would look a bit odd on other devices as well so just experiment with that see what looks better um but yeah onto the content the content you're posting is actually it's it's good content it's clean content it's what people actually engage with uh, a bit random from time to time like <clears throat> yeah it's it's a bit random from time to time but that is no problem it's a very easy fix now for you to grow the page again which is what i say to most people with these kinds of pages is promote post viral content or videos videos most videos in the travel niche are actually viral so keep posting videos like this blow them up with dm groups uh with your network and yeah that's that's pretty much the key to to grow on a page like this it's, it's 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 very simple just not that easy to actually perform also cut down on the hashtags you're using way too many uh, but I will give you props on the on the caption because that's really good and very engaging. So yeah, nice work on that one. Next page is Dustin Royce personal page hobbyist photographer. Okay, so you're this page is a hobby photography page. Um, I like you've got a very solid vibe on the page, kind of darkish, um, but again, you've got to figure out. Um, like niche it down a bit more because some of the images from time to time are a bit random like i don't really get what this is supposed to like represent i mean it, it's cool to post these kinds of images and this as well because it does make a nice blend in the image just like this page you can see these random pictures that aren't of her they look well they, they blend well into the entire theme of the page um but right here that doesn't really do it so much like it doesn't really look good on the overall page so posting images like these wouldn't really work out well and yeah it's 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 hard to say because you have to figure out what you want to go about what like where you want to take the page um and what type of niche you want to be in also the hashtags are a bit too many cut down on them um also you do want to be more engaging uh you did say to me that this yeah seven days ago so you got to work on posting more often but the one thing I would just figure out on your end is figuring out what type of content you want to be posting and yeah just only posting that content because again niche down pages are what succeeds the best on Instagram these days. Next page is this one beat bud. Now this is probably the most random page I've seen on Instagram in my life because uh, the content is all over the place like what the hell is this and why is there a picture of this guy blended into all of this and yeah it's it's very random and like a random dog in a purple frame everything looks very very off and it's look it looks in my opinion very very spammy you've got a picture of a globe and that even makes the entire page look more spammy and the the entire caption is just way off and it doesn't really tell me anything about your page and about what your page is about um, at the same time you're following this many people uh, which just increases that spammy look of the page and yeah you're going overboard on the hashtag it, it, like to me it looks like you're trying to make the page look as spammy as possible on purpose which i don't think you want but that's what it looks like so cut down on the hashtags figure out what type of content you want to be posting and yeah the thumbnails are just awful so you want to really work on improving that quality and yeah that's just i mean it's really obvious what you have to fix quality content beats everything and this is not quality content so yeah work on that
so final page we're gonna look at is rc simon now this page is again a personal page the profile picture is really good you're having a picture of yourself people like to see the, the actual person behind the picture so that's good now i would write a bit more in the caption because right now it's very boring uh boring uh i mean so write a bit more about what you do what your passions are etc etc investor entrepreneur okay that's cool but right make it a bit more entertaining uh because yeah it's it's very boring as it is right now um content is is actually not too bad you're you're taking you're actually taking pictures of yourself you, you you're getting people to take pictures which is nice also just make sure that you do focus on not having your f like face cut off in the top of the frames uh like here and also work on the positioning in the image because it's much more appealing to the eye when you're positioned in one of the if you for example break down the image you have one line here and then you have one line here and then two lines across so it's nine squares in each image you want to position yourself in the first line or the second line so you got one line here and one line here so you want to be either uh, have your head around here or your head around here so your body's down straight here or down straight here um it's just how our eyes work actually we do um, think images like this are much more appealing because you're in this uh, on one of the sides of the image uh, images rather than this for example this as well much more appealing because you're in this line right here rather than in the middle so taking pictures of yourself where you're in, uh, where you're in the middle don't do that because yeah average uh, average uh, people and and yeah engagement is going to be higher if you focus on taking images where you're well uh, much better positioned when actually it comes to creating the content as well put a bit more effort into creating them go to different places go to different destinations actually focus on taking that perfect picture and posting that on instagram rather than just throwing in random images that looks like we're taken of you from time to time uh yeah yeah just put in more time into the content because yeah again content is the key i can't believe i'm saying this so many times but yeah it's it's got to be said but content is the key to your success on instagram so you want to be posting that best possible content and also i would figure out a bit more what your targeted audience is you're posting a bit amount of quotes here you're writing a good amount in the actual captions uh some inspirational stuff uh that kind of stuff you're also uh, saying that you are um christian or god first um not that you have to be christian um but yeah god first and investor entrepreneur um so there's a lot of different information about you and it's hard to figure out what you want to what a message you want to spread through your page so you have to figure out that and really display that in the bio for people to understand why they're following following you like why would i be following rc simon well it's because he's posting really quality nice images and he's giving me motivation about um about um yeah life in general personal development that kind of stuff or yeah he's a very spiritual guy i'm very spiritual myself he's helping me uh, connect better with god blah 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 so you get you get the point you want to how you people you, you need to figure out what your message is and you want people to understand what your message is uh because then they they're gonna have a bigger reason to follow your page other than like i right now i assume most of your friends are following your page but you want to grow outside of your friend zone as well so yeah that is pretty much it for your page so that was it for this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button go down below and subscribe also check out the free instagram training the five step day training whatever it's called link down below also go follow me on instagram and i will catch you guys in the next in the next video Peace.